The formula for doling out the first $50 billion in federal CARES Act grant money to hospitals did not favor ballot health. That's according to a Kaiser Family Foundation analysis, which found disproportionately it helped those that serve more privately insured patients. Hospitals that are generally better, better funded and serve wealthier populations as well. Hospitals serving the most privately insured patients came in for roughly double the payment per bed than the 10% serving the fewest, the analysis found. Ballot health falls much closer to the lower end. Benefited hospitals that are in wealthier parts of the country, uh, which so, sort of counterintuitive. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think the Kaiser study makes plain the weaknesses with that approach, and hopefully those will get addressed later on. Levine said that difference in payer mix already hurts rural hospitals and those in poorer communities, which rely more on lower reimbursing programs like Medicare and Medicaid. We have much more on this report right now, an in-depth analysis on WGHL.com.